Hello students. When you log in to Google Drive, you are just going to go to the internet and go to drive.google.com. And since I'm already signed in, it brings me straight up to my stuff. But if not, you follow the sign-in instructions for username and password, the same username and password you use for Chromebooks. It's your Gaggle email address and the special password that you know to get into all CMS computers. Then, once you're there, uh, you have your drive, which is all the things that you have put up on Google Drive. I have a lot of stuff here. And if you wanted to, um, let's say, upload something from the iPads, you would use the app, and there's a plus sign over here. The app does look a little different. But when you're on the school computers, you can create a new folder, document, presentation, spreadsheet, form, or drawing. These are all kind of like Microsoft, Microsoft Word, Microsoft PowerPoint, and they're all totally free and ready for you anytime. Folders to organize your own stuff. Let's say I want to make a document, and I'm working on my birthday list. And let's say I would like to have some jeans, and I would like to have an iPod Touch. This is my list. And now I'm going to just go to share. Right now it's private, and nobody can see what I want for my birthday. But um, I want to share it with some people, so I'm going to name it. And I should put my name on here, too. And I'm going to save it. Right now it's private, only I can see it, and I'm going to change that. I can make this public on the web. I can make this so that anyone I give the link to can see it. I can make this so that if someone is searching in CMS for who is writing about genes and birthdays, they would find it. I can make it so that everyone in CMS who has the link can see it. So they can't search for birthdays and genes, but if I send them the link, they can see it. So I'm going to go ahead and say, since my mom doesn't work in CMS schools and she's the most likely to buy me some jeans, I'm going to say anyone with this link can see it. Now, they don't have to sign in and they can view it. Maybe they should comment on it. They can ask me, what size do you wear? Maybe they can edit it. They can, do I want them to take iPod Touch off because they think I'm asking for too expensive of a present? No, I don't want them to do that, but I do want them to comment. And so now I'm going to click Save. And here's my link. And I'm going to just control C and I can email that to people. I can post it on my website. And now everybody knows my birthday list. I'm going to add a book. And so now I'm done with that. And it is all changes are automatically saved. So I'm just done. I can X out of it. And I'm back in my drive. And here's my birthday list. And it even tells me it's shared. If I end up that I feel kind of bad asking for, pe for presents, all I do is right click. Oh, I left clicked and that highlighted it. If I, let's say I wanted to delete the whole thing, I could just highlight, um, click check that, and then click remove. I could move it to a folder. And so in this case, I'm actually just going to right click it and I'm going to change my sharing. And so I go back to share and I decided that I should change this to make it private again and I'm just going to invite let's see I think I'm going to invite Miss McLeod so she had asked me what I wanted so I'm going to say Miss McLeod I don't want her to edit it though I'm going to let her comment oops and here she is and it says that I can send it to her at gaggle or at her regular CMS email so always choose the regular CMS email first and I can tell her by email. I can put a copy of the list into the email. Um, I can copy myself. And so I would share it and save. But since this is just a sample, I'm going to cancel that. And this will be done. And I'm actually going to throw my sample away. And now, thank you for listening. And I hope you enjoy using it. It is so great to have your things up here. And let's say you did make one last thing is you're probably going to make some movies with the iPads. All you do is upload the movie, the instructions are written on the wiki, and then once you do it, you right click on the um, movie. When you do it, you can share it, 
and share and you can email your teacher that you have shared it or you can share it with everyone in CMS or make it public and they can watch it from there. Thank you.